At just 65 kilometers, stage 17 is the fifth shortest road stage in Tour de France history. It promises to be fast and furious. Nearly 40k of climbing with an altitude gain of over 3,000 meters. It's essentially a mountain sprint with three arduous climbs. The Monte de Perigude, the Col de Val Laurent Azé, and the Hoare category Col de Porte making its first tour appearance. Well, there was a rather novel start to the stage. The riders lining up in a Formula One style grid in GC order. Yellow jersey Geraint Thomas in pole position. He was soon joined by his Sky teammates as Astana's Tanel Kangert moved off the front. Julian Alaphilippe, part of a group who were looking to chase down the Estonian. Yesterday's stage winner also hoping to extend his 49 point lead in the mountains classification. Kangert was the first man to the summit of the Perigude, but there were mixed fortunes for Movistar early on. Mark Seller and Alejandro Valverde getting into a break off the front, but Nada Quintana was held up twice with mechanicals. On the descent, Kangert was joined at the front by Christian Durasek and Alaphilippe. That trio staying together on the Col de Val Laurent, while in the peloton, AG2 Le Mondial looked up the tempo. No sweat though for Team Sky. The British team were back on the front by the summit and apparently in cruise control. Alaphilippe picking up another 10 points on Val Laurent and all but guaranteeing that he'll keep that polka dot jersey all the way to Paris. And so it was on to the Col du Porte, 16 kilometers at a punishing 8.7%. Alaphilippe unable to keep pace with Kangert. And there was finally a bit of action in the pack as well. Quintana pulling away with Dan Martin, but the pace a bit too much for the Irishman. Quintana bridging across to his teammate Valverde. They were a minute behind Kangert with 11k to go, and they would soon catch him. With 6.5k to go, Quintana went solo, powering away from Rafael Maika. The Colombian heading for his first tour stage win since 2013. But the real GC battle was further back as Tom Dumoulin had a go late in the day. Thomas was straight on his wheel, but Chris Froome was struggling. The four-time Tour de France champion simply couldn't follow Thomas Dumoulin and Primoz Roglic. The victory went to Quintana, 28 seconds ahead of Dan Martin. Thomas sprinting to the line ahead of Roglic and Dumoulin. Well, there have been so many questions about the Sky leadership and they were answered in emphatic fashion on the Col de Porte. They said the road would decide and so it proved as the torch passed from Froome to Thomas. It's there for the Welshman who already has two stage wins and the yellow jersey who will be going for glory in Paris. He should have plenty of strong support including that man Froome who's already won sixth Grand Tours. Well, I'm still feeling on good form for what's left of the tour. And as I've always said, I still believe in my chances. We have to try to speed up the race, try to get up to the front. The third week comes at a good time for us, I think, and we'll try to stay in the battle. So Quintana taking just his second win at the Tour, his first in over five years with Dan Martin second. Thomas grabbing a handful of bonus seconds as he came in ahead of Roglic and Dumoulin, Froome over 40 seconds further back. Thomas increases his overall lead to one minute and 59 seconds, but it's now Dumoulin who sits in second. Froome slips to third with Roglic breathing down his neck, while Quintana's superb victory sees him back up to fifth. Before a big day in the mountains on Friday, there's a penultimate chance for the sprinters on Thursday, although quite a few fast men have already quit the race. Stage 18 is a flat 171 kilometer run from Tri Sorbais to Po, which should allow the GC favorites to recover after two intense days in the Pyrenees. Thanks very much for watching and do join us again on Thursday.